and he told him, he promised in this assessment, I will, uh, I have the possibility to, to help you to escape. But I want gold. Can you uh, uh, acquire about one, one kilo of some gold? And he told, yes, and there were three more which would escape with him. And the plan was made that he will, uh, he will bring these three people uh, behind the line of the Grosse Postenkette where they are working, yes? Mm -hmm. And they, uh, he will let them now, uh, let them go, uh, and then he will shut, but he will not, uh, not, uh, uh, he will not yeah. kill them. And even if, if they, they will shoot, mess them. Yes. yes. And so we knew about it, and they told us, and they told us, and we were very afraid. And one day it came, and they make uh, Langer. Uh, the heart of the highest in the world was the name Langer. I, I described it very exactly in this bad factory. And these three came one in the morning, and I remember how they took uh, the leaves from us, the goodbye from us, and in the afternoon, when the commando came back, so these three Jews were sitting dead on the chairs near the entrance of the of the camp, and it was written, "So geschieht jeden, der versucht zu flüchten." So it will turn to every man who will try to to escape. Yes. And the block of the slager of the Stedanish, this big green winkel that the flower, cried, look upon this, so every man who will be shot, there is no escape from only to the chimney. So he cried, this, this, uh, uh -huh. how, late, later we, uh, we learned how it happened. This, uh, this uh, Slovak Volksdeutsche, this assessment, we took these this three, three people, three uh, prisoners um, with his school, schoolmate away. He brought them behind the postenkette. He took from them that um, before they paid him, organized this gold and this dollars from command from Canada and so. And when they <coughs> were going about uh, 50, 100 meters, they shot them, and they melted that they, that they, um, um, they have um, prevented them to escape, and they were rewarded, all these SS, two assessments were rewarded, with the reward that they, they shot um, the prisoners who tried to escape, and did was many times such a problem. So you think that this is what this man wanted to do with the Jewish girl, was to get her to escape so he could kill her? This Jewish girl not. But he tried to get somebody. Look, the girl, what, what was? He couldn't escape, with the, the girl wouldn't escape without her mother. So right. he would go to the Czech, to the Bohemia, and he would make for her a hiding place, to find out a hiding place. Uh -huh. and papers to go back and uh, to bring a paper. He know how it works. Sometimes uh, came Gestapo and brought from uh, from camp uh, some people. He came, they came to, to Lager and uh, they took papers and we want two or three prisoners to be inquired. Let them go. And they had these papers. Yeah. And on this idea, this best tech, Worked out that he could brought out the the the, the Rene and her mother, but he wanted somebody uh, also the hiding place there, and so he thought that in Bohemia there is a, in a good place. She knew it and so on. So he he uh, look make look upon people who were from Bohemia, from Czechoslovakia. So also he thought also to he came to our. Schloss Bude, this, uh, the, 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 um, where we have this maintenance uh, uh, shop. And he make with us geschäfte, uh, wood car, 
And then he found this letter, this, bo- this uh, he, he was broken in the Czech camp, this letter, uh-huh. his name was letter. He was an, an, an army officer, a Czech army officer, and he was involved in a partisan group. And one, once he was called, uh, he was a political prisoner, and one he was called uh, to Auschwitz first, and the test was uh, his guard to bring him there and back. And on the way, uh, he made him this offer, and uh, he agreed. And the Pestek brought him a uniform, you know, a SS uniform, and, and, and when the Pestek had, had uh, the, um, he was uh, a blockfeerer from, from this uh, family camp, when he was on duty, so they both came to the train to Auschwitz, he was on leave, and they came um, like officer, like two SS officers, they came to Prague with the train, with the speed train. Mm-hmm. And the, it was a siren that the, uh, the letterer escaped and so on, but not on Pestek. The Pestek was on three days on leave, so they didn't, uh, didn't uh, connect, him with connect him and they didn't check till after later. And so they came to Prague and to Theresienstadt. And the, the first thing was, and the letterer had connection, but his intention was not to save the, the girl, but his intention was to warn the Theresienstadt people. He came from Theresienstadt, you know. Details of this. So he came to uh, to warn the people in uh, in, in Theresienstadt. So, so they ca- first they ca- they they got a hiding place. The letterer had some partisans or some people uh, which had uh, you know in the mountains such a small um, you know who is uh, warding the the forest such a uh, high in uh, the forest first. Uh, Ranger, Ranger, forest ranger. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. He, he he got the hiding place for this for Pestek in this, uh, and then we promised him we will make contact and we will uh, make outlook to how to get papers. But first he was going to Theresienstadt, and he uh, through some channels he came to Theresienstadt. There was a possibility, and he. Uh, came to this to his uh, friends, which uh, knew him, and he told them, "Look, there is a, a danger. You will that this and this happened with this transport from uh, September, and this and this is expected for the transport of December." There was also the rabbi Leo Beck. In, there were seven people in this. He described it very exactly. I wouldn't believe him. I I made three year research if I believe what he told me, how he came there and so. There was a barber who, who came, um, the assessment who make the uh, and and uh, he took him as his aide. So he came in this television. And these people wouldn't believe him. He br- they brought. He's Jewish. Jewish, Jewish. Yeah. Two years before he le- he that I, I couldn't you see the telegram, the photograph, of. and this, he had uh, on a, in an attic. Uh, he was three or four days in the Resinstadt. He warned the Juden uh, uh, and the Leo Beck was also in Juden Alteste. Do you know the name Leo Beck? Maybe? Sure. And he told them, and then they told him, look, you are not telling the truth. You are telling that on that September of, of the, no, of the uh, March of 8, the people were killed, all the people. This and this and this, and then this name also, this also, this. And they named in six or seven names. 
And now they brought the cards. Look, here are the cards. Here are the cards. They are lying. He couldn't, pass, he couldn't convince them, convince them that this is true. So uh, he, some holds only one uh, believed him, and this holds then uh, fly to partisans. Only one he couldn't convince. Them. So then he brought the, uh, they uh, bought, uh, he acquired some money and some and uh, some connections, I uh, will not go into details, and they acquired uh, this Kali, the Ham Bezorkt, Bezorkt, we have not Bezorkt, at least. Insured? They got, they got papers. Acquired? They acquired papers for the, from Gestapo, with a stamp of Gestapo, which was, which was fast, uh, false. Yes. Ein Falschmacher hat gemacht Papiere. Ja. That, uh, forge. For, forged. 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 Yes. For, forged. Uh, that uh, René Neumann went and the mother are acquired to be, to make hearing in this, in this case and the Gestapo in Katowice want them to hail. To, uh, to, to know. And the best they get a uniform, an SS uniform, and a paper and letter also. And they came back to Auschwitz. The two of them? Two of them, both of them came oh. to Auschwitz. And this, his plan was, he knew that when he will come with this uh, um, uh, papers to to Birkenau, to this Blockführer, with Gestapo papers, and to report here, but he will give him these people for hearing. It's nothing. Right. Gestapo was Gestapo, and to, to hearing it, uh, they will come back. But what I heard, <coughs> the, when the Pestek came to Auschwitz, to Birkenau, so he was going to the camp, and first he would make a contact with somebody who could, uh, he couldn't go direct to, to, to this girl and she, that she is here, she would be prepared for it. And she was going in this Mexico camp, in this third camp, which was in building at that time, yes. And there were some people uh, who were Dachdecker and so, which he contacted, he knew. And he contacted one of them and told them, to go to René Neumann and tell her that I am here and we will bring her out, she sh should prepare herself. And he wrote a, 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 some that, that she is convinced that it is not a provocation, so he wrote a, a leaflet, some, some lines, he dropped some lines and gave it to this, to this, uh, uh, his name was also Neumann, but he was he is living in Chicago, in Skopje, this man is living uh -huh. in Skopje. Yeah. Yeah. Josef Neumann is his name, maybe I will visit him. And this, uh, he was a collector of corpses at that time, so he had also access to every camp. He collected corpses from the, of the camp. Uh -huh. And she was going to this camp, to this René Neumann, his name was also Neumann, and uh, um, checked him there, there, there um, by the gate. He was checked. He was searched. He was searched. And uh, there was this Buntrock, you know what I told you, this Buntrock, the rapport fearer. He was uh, very bad guy and from the time that this letter escaped so that was very sharp measure measure mm, to and they found this leaflet uh, this at him so where from you have it and so and so and so they beat him so much that he mm, uh, told the truth and they came, and the Pestek was on the roof, on the roof of, of one not finished block, 
and when they came to when they they make uh, what's this? they make uh, a circle and they arrested him together with this with this Neumann and they in there was a great inquiry with him with this Pestek. But the Pestek was not quiet and he told uh, all how the corruption uh, were, were done in the camp where, where the money was from and so. And it should come from Berlin somebody to make more inquiry. And they were afraid that there would be involved more assessment. Right. So they killed him in the camp. And they sent the, the, the Neumann to the Straf Penner Penner Company, to the penalty company. And also with an order he should be killed. But there were some connections and from the penalty company were at the time um, a straf transport, you know, a transport uh, to, to go for a very, very heavy work. And uh, uh, he managed it with the help of our friends that he uh, was selected for this, for this transport from the um, uh, Penner company and so he disappeared from Birkenau and, and he survived. And what about the girl and the mother? Yeah. The girl and the mother. The girl and the mother were one touched. She told she didn't know nothing. There were no proofs. And she, uh, he was uh, uh, trying to get some contact with her, but she refused him. The girl with the, her mother came later by the second liquidation, which I will let you know. Uh, on transport to Neuengamme and the girl married an American officer and she is living in New York as well. Maybe Dina Gottlieb has the, her address. Let me ask you this. Why did they want to wait? If they brought him in in December, why did they want to wait till June? Did they get work out of them? No. Why, did they, why didn't they just uh, advance? Yeah. Look, they wanted to Theresienstadt, Kurt, always new and new people. They want from Holland, from Germany, from Denmark, a Red Cross should come there. So they wanted that the Theresienstadt should be quiet, that the people should be... And Theresien was crowded, so they always wanted that the people should go to the east without any... Uh, revolution. So these people, the second transport, always wrote letters. We are here, please send us, send us uh, parcels, we feel well, and so on. Yes? They will, they wanted to, to make this, um, uh, it was a plan. Theresienstadt, a, 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 a mask for Auschwitz. Yes? I, I wrote a special as a study about it in, mm -hmm. in English, I can, in this book, Theresien it is. But, when this, this was the plan, to make a mask for Auschwitz. And they kept them alive for six months. Yes, for that. six months, and then, then they took other people. So they, yes, they, they liquidated, there were all should be liquidated, but before they would be liquidated, they should ma make this, uh, this uh, this betrug, the, yeah, the 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 the, the is that one betrug? Uh, they should uh, irritate the people. They wanted them to to be a, sh a shield for for this. But when the second liquidation came, to now, so at that time, either they they feared for the warnings or the situation was much more bad for uh, they wanted people to be uh, which are capable for work. So the liquidation was made so that it will be made a selection for people who are able, capable for work and this will be transported to other camps and the people who are not fit for work and the women with children, this will be liquidated. Yes.
at the same way like they came with the transport. So these were known, and at that, that time I pursued very hardly my wife. He should uh, tell that he is without child. That he is not, not uh, you know, there was not so organization that they had a car. Uh, they came, um, the doctor and untreated, uh, sind sie verheiratet, haben sie Kinder? Nein, good. They mm. were you just ask a question like that and let me yes. tell So I told to Ellie, uh, let, uh, told that you, and she wouldn't. And I promised her I will save um, Otto. But in which way, I didn't knew at the, that time. But they were many ways, some ways. And I promised her, I swore her that he should do it and I will, I will manage it, that I will, uh, in some way, I will save him. So the trans selection was made uh, for three, three, uh, three, it took three, three times, three days. Uh, one, the women which were selected for work were transferred to the women's camp, to the section one. And the men were uh, put on transport and sent to Heidebreck, to a man, to a, uh, Schwarzheide, Schwarzheide, it is an affiliated camp of Dachau, to Schwarzheide, about 1,000 men, about 1,000 women, and the women were sent later to two camps, one in Neuengamme and one to Stuthof. But they were about 40 days, three weeks in this Fraulager there. And now we try to save Otto. Three, we tried it twice, three times. First, we would uh, enter dig under the, under the, you know, under these um, wires, such a um, hole, and to pull him in another camp and to pull him to our camp. But it was not, it didn't work in another camp. It was through two camps. After the camp, the family camp, there was a Hungarian camp, and right. then was then was road, and this we couldn't manage. We couldn't brought him from the through the uh, uh, gate. It was not possible, mm -hmm. so we must give. Up. Then we we want we, we were very afraid that in the night once they will call alle Jugendliche antreten, all use and to kill them. So. There was a washroom, you know, a block was where the water pipe was, mm -hmm. and there was a, such a huge uh, basin, huge basin with water. Mm -hmm. with, and this basin was filled only to a, set, to a certain level, to two set. So we, uh, we make of planks such a stand to this three quarter of level, and he climbed there for two nights to sleep if this curfew will come that they should not uh, catch him. Uh, yes, you understand? Yes. 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 But then came a oh, mess, miracle. And once they told, we will, we will have some 80 youngsters, uh, um, boys, from 14 to 16 years, which we will send to, to learn as Lehrlinge, uh, nach, uh, to Lehrlinge für Waffenfabriken, to learn, uh, to, to, to send them to Germany. They wanted to all the factory. to the factories as learning, as learning. At the apprentices. Apprentices, yes. And they make an inscription. So I was going to the Schreibstube and I ma make this card for, from Otto, make him two years older. And this was no problem. The Schreiber was uh, uh, dependent on us and was a good friend. So he changed this card and make him two years older. And so he was angetreten with this uh, 50, 50, uh, with the 60 people, yeah, with the 60 youngsters, and they came to our camp. You know, this yes. is... Now, 
his mother still alive yet? His mother still alive in the women's camp, in the women's waiting camp. for transport. Yes. In women's camp one, a section one. Section one, yeah. Section one. This was section two. Yeah. Yes, this yeah. was empty. The, the camp. Yeah. And uh, Otto came with the sixty uh, lehrlinge, uh, apprentice, apprentice uh, in, in English. Yes. Yes. He came to the camp B, Zweide, in our camp, to wait for, to be transported later to Germany, to this, to these factories. Mm -hmm. So when we, uh, when he was there, so we asked that we wanted in our shop a practice, practice, and I managed it that he, they gave it to our shop as a practice. Uh, as a practice, practice, and I was going every day in this women camp, and my wife was so. Uh, was he big for his age? No, he was skinny. He was very, very. Uh, he was not too big, uh, but he was a good, good fat, fat. So, but he, so he passed off for 15 years old. For 14, for 14, but he was 10, huh? He was 12. No, he was born 33. Uh, he was 11 and a half. Uh -huh. At that time, eleven and a half. Uh -huh. He was very small. Uh, it man we managed. It. Uh -huh. But uh, now you say you're going to your wife. Uh, and, and my wife still, I couldn't show her that, that. And I promised her, and then I told her, yes, Otto is safe, and uh, he is. But he would uh, uh, see him. Could see him. She couldn't see him. She couldn't believe me. What to do? She was crying and that, that I have, uh, she would die with him and so uh, it was, you can imagine that. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So what we meant, we had a su such small car, you see, when we were uh, going to, to repair something. So we had car and tools and the, the, uh, the materials. And we are having eingespannt in the in the wagon. Uh, the a car you had an automobile? No car, a truck. A cart. A cart. A cart. A small. cart. No, but on four four wheels, much cart. So uh, in wagon, klein yeah. wagon. Which you pulled by hand. So wiggerle, but by hand, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, like, a little wagon that you uh, pulled by hand. By hand, and when we are brought the, the tools to bring in. Yeah. And we let him there in eingespannt in his Wegerle, damit er nützlich ist. Und er hat den Wegerle gezogen nach dem Frauenlager, where we were going to repair something. Mm -hmm. That he is uh, useful, so uh, that he was not a, a plumber, but he was for to pull the, the car. He was <laughs> and he came to this to this uh, entrance of the Frauenlager and the assessment told him, your Zauhunde, you tricks, you don't the shame such a small boy to misuse for you, for the car, to pull the car, and you are so strong, you let this small boy to pull the car, your how lumpen, and, and at once you pull the car, and this boy must sit on the car, and not to pull, so it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's well done. So we came to the uh, women camp. My wife uh, Ellie saw Otto. She was very happy. And she was quiet and so. No, but in one week, uh, the whole transport was. It was not possible. Nobody from this transport should live in Auschwitz. Should stay in Auschwitz. They were on a special block, on special number. It was not not. Uh, not possible to um, uh, to catch her, you know. They, they were all in block from this camp, and they must go on transport to the side. So she was deported to Stuthof. I accompanied her till the till the run. I remember it like her today. No, and she then uh, she was there. And she died in January '45 on typhus. Nearly, nearly a uh, few days before the liberation of the camp. 
So the divas the liquidation, the second liquidation of this of this uh, family camp, and then they didn't uh, make this uh, further. Yes. Then they can this Hungarian transport without mercy and so. No. Uh, so this uh, Hungarian transport, I think it is ver- it is very uh, important to that. There came always transport. Every every day came some transport, uh, smaller, greater, and yeah. so on. But the top of all this was uh, the, about these escapes from uh, about these escapees, which brought out these messages to bomb Auschwitz. Mm-hmm. Would you be interested to? Yes, to remember you were going to talk. Yes. You said there were five of them or yes. so? Uh, the first was the letter. He escaped on the April 5th with Pestek. You know, this was the first. On the 7th, two days later, escaped. But he escaped in a fantastic manner. And they were going like assessment. They bought uh, the tickets and they were going by a speed train to to Prague, yes, with uh, the Pestek. Uh, uh, to care for all and so so it was a sp- ah what I would tell you but the, when also Lederer came back with Pestek and he was waiting for him he was not going in the camp and when he saw that Pestek is was um, catched so he escaped he took a he was in an uniform and he took a motor car from an assessment, there was a motor car, and she drive with his motor car till Oderberg. And then in Oderberg, he catch the train, he still was in an uniform, SS uniform, mm-hmm. and he came back to Prague and lived there in the underground, in the mountains, by the partisans. Uh, he gets a great order, and then later after the war, I, I found him out and he told me the whole story what I wouldn't believe him, that it is true. I made many tapes like with this, and it, it brought me to people where we, who was hiding, he brought me to this holzer when he was uh, telling that, ah, this uh, rabbi, uh, no, Beck, he told, Leo Beck, Leo Beck, he told, and this was, that maybe he is, he believes that it is something but there is no escape of this state, and it is better that the people should not know. This was his his opinion. Yeah. So it was so it was uh, told me from the people who was who spoke and who came from the region, the holders especially, that it was no escape from this, and that that, that it was better that the people should not not know it, what happened. But you said there were five people that left, you know, this. Tell me about uh, Buna and places like that. Buna? Yeah. Ah, Buna. Buna was a place about seven kilometers from Auschwitz I. Buna began to build in 41. They, in 42, it was already in a very stage. They make a, a rail, a narrow rail, rail mm-hmm. when the prisoners from Auschwitz were going uh, to Buna. There were no barracks, nothing, every day. And they built it with a very great speed, this Buna Werke. And there were a special camp, it was Auschwitz 3, Auschwitz 3. And there were from 10,000, at least there were 30,000 prisoners from Auschwitz, which were working there. And there was also a special prisoner camp for English prisoners. We, when they could not um, go together, but on the work, they get together with the Heftlinge. They had special treatment, they got also the parcels from the Red Cross, and they, they had much better conditions like this prisoners, but when they were catched with uh, some connections with prisoners, so they were put in the camp, 
in the in the prison of them. And when the, the people from Bunawerke were uh, exhausted, uh, they were selection like in the camp. So they were put on the trucks, brought to Birkenau to the crematorium, and then they became a new batch of fresh people, fresh um, workers. The assessment uh, paid five marks per day for every mm, uh, prisoner to assess. In one of my books, in this Night and Folk, there is an appraisal, uh, 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 how many uh, the assess yeah. got. Uh, An accounting. Uh, counting, very exactly counting. And this. So, and the Himmler came there, fast came there. The people from Bunawerke came and selected, pe took out people, uh, they asked the people uh, what the profession they are and so and so, they knew it. Did they live there at Bona? But in barracks, they lived in barracks. In barracks, uh, in, the, Buna. in the same barracks, the food was better. In Buna, the, near Buna was a camp Monovice, you know. Uh -huh. The camp Monovice, near the, a, 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 a village, Monovice. Uh -huh. And there was a camp built up for 30,000 30, barracks, like this, under the same conditions. Only the food was better, and the, the capos were on the work. I was there twice, not as um, then um, in the beginning there were no no schlosser and no and we make some constructions in the beginning for Buna. And when these constructions were ready, so we were uh, we were uh, they were loaded on trucks and we were going there and we fixed them and that the and the supervision of some assessment. What did they do at Buna? What did they oh, make? They, Buna was a huge factory where they make uh, fuel from coal. You know, this is near Katowice, near this Silesia, where there are coal mines, very, uh -huh. very rich coal mines. Right. And they make fuel, benzene. It was, therefore, it was bombed. It was bombed very strongly. You saw that, huh? Uh, yes, I saw it. Uh, that is seven kilometers, and they never bombed Auschwitz. This now, where, what were the Jews used for? To dig the coal, or what? What did they no. use it for? Ah, look, there was another camp, Javishovitz. Uh, I can. Yeah. There was only a camp where was a uh, mine, coal mines. There were Jews in Javishovitz. Then there was a factory. In uh, Yavozno, they make cement, uh, this, uh, no, cement, yes, yes. Uh, when the bricks are built together, this uh, cement. Mortar. Mortar, yes. And in the whole area where, where, where uh, uh, small camps, uh, Gleiwitz, yes, there were the, the four to repair these uh, trucks, these uh, railway trucks. And in Buna, first they make, they constructed, the, the fabric was still and still in a huge uh, expansion, yes. So mainly they were used for, uh, for the building works and maintenance works, but not for the, uh, for the operating in the factories. No, IG Farben was not. IG Farben, but this is IG Farben Buna. Oh. Buna is IG Farben. Uh -huh. That's IG Farben. It's a special book, IG Farben, Sassoli, which wrote the book. Uh -huh. yeah. And they, they, pick, they came there, Faust was the director. They came very often to Auschwitz. They, they brought uh, the, the nearly every week came from Buna Werke, came people. Uh, Tell came me also. about. Uh, your son stayed in camp with you. Yes. And then you escaped when? My son stayed in camp and he was working with this, as I told you, in, in, in this, uh, he learned something. And he was in this, um, uh, in, the, in, the, in our, the, the shop. Uh -huh. And sometimes he uh, was going with us to work. But you didn't, uh, nobody knew he was your son, huh? Uh, so, officially, no. 
officially know. Maybe some assessment new leaders. But the other were sent, not all, about five uh, 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 lived in the camp, somebody for this or this, and the other uh, about 60 were, were, were transported to Germany, to this, uh, to this uh, factories to be apprentices. But Adol stayed with you all the time? All the time he stood with me. In the same barracks? In the same barracks. But one later we uh, became allowance to, to live in, to, to sleep in our, in our uh, shop. Four, only four in our maintenance shop. Yes, we could there. And Who's the four? The same four, you and Billy Nachman and... Uh, uh, yes, Billy Nachman, uh, Rosenfeld, uh, myself and, and Kraus. Kraus also, yeah. And uh, once... Uh, so you took, uh, you took Otto in with you now? Otto? Adolf, 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 Adolf Rosenfeld. No, Otto, Otto, Otto your Kraus. son. My son was Otto, yes. Yeah. He slept with you. He slept with the with, with me. Then we had the block of a blocker test, a very good one, which we helped him to be blocker test. And he, uh, Otto was there, and he, he was in, in good conditions. So what, what did he do? Who? What did Otto do? Otto? Yeah. He was in our workshop. He brought us uh, material. He was going to the kitchen to bring us food for our mm -hmm. for our uh, 20 people. And when we wanted uh, to repair something, a shoes, uh, he brought his shoes there. And he made something. Uh, he learned, no? He, he, he didn't call you Papa, huh? No, 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 no. no. He no. didn't call you Papa. No. And then, then was in was uh, once he was in very great danger. When there was all Jugendliche antreten, there was some about 100 um, boys till 16 years, not all Jewish. There came some from Poland when the Polish uprising was in '44, so the. Uh, also non-Jews came to Auschwitz, about 4,000 non-Jews uh, families, and also boys, uh, Jugendliche. And uh, one day it came an order, alle Jugendliche antreten, and they killed them, also non-Jews. And when Otto heard it, so the uh, Lagerführer had, you know, he had um, goose, 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 uh, he geese, uh, uh, yeah, geese. He had a, a small farm for geese, yes, and uh, um, the, the, there were some prisoners who should take care for these geese and geese. and uh, Otto also was helping them. And when he heard this, that this is the the Aliyuntiche antreten. So he was going in this in this um, cave for the geese. In, in this, he locked himself uh, in this um, uh, stall for the geese. In this stuff yeah. and pen. in the pen. And so and I was not in the camp at that time, so I couldn't. And he from himself he felt that he was in the danger. And so this moment when the Ali went untreated, then they checked if there is any human on block. That there nobody and Dov was there, so I was there at the, the time very afraid. Now and then they came the evacuation, as I told you. Came the evacuation, and before the evacuation there was an uprising in in Auschwitz. Uh, then when the crematorium was put in on fire, you s no tell me about that. You will. Yeah, yeah, we have. Do we have a little time for that? Yeah. No, it's, I think it's. Uh, uh, a little longer history. If All I right, then you want to hold, and we'll start with the uh, with the destruction of the uh, crematoria and the crematoria, and then we'll take the escape. The escape. There are three. The, the, the uprising is very important. Yes. I should tell you. The, the uprising, the, the destruction, the destruction of crematoria. Then the uh, what was the, the evacuation yes. and escape, the escape.
the, uh, then you never got to see the Russians come in. No, no. I only heard them. Heard them, the Russians. And we had, we so did. this will do it another time? The and Russians that's... came later. Russians came. No, I mean, oh. these items will take at a later date. Huh? Uh, when the Russian came? No, no, no. no. I mean, mean, oh, this. For, for the tape, we'll get I these think later. So, yeah, I yeah, think so I'll let you rest. I, yes, um, <coughs> when I came to certain to a certain point, then it's for me... Schengenic. Uh, Schengenic, yeah. All right, let's, let's leave it there, huh? Yes, these three items we should have uh, uprising. It, it must be also, I must let you know how the... Uh, Polish cheated the Jews, yes, that or they still, the, yes, we will make with you a deal and so on, they, they only, uh, they knew that as long as the Jews are there and the Jews are, are gays, the, their fate is, they will not be touched. Yeah. And therefore they always make this postponed, postponed, until the end, and when, then when, the, when there was no, uh, the uprising was uh, um, abgemacht. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And they, the Poles told, no, we cannot, we must wait till the front is near and so on. And the Zonder uh, Commando was on the, on the... Uh, right. Let's hold it because we'll take it. Uh, now, for just a minute, did you hear anything about the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising? No, I get here a look from Ghetto Warsaw Ghetto Uprising came the people to Auschwitz. The, they brought uh, you stories about it? All right, then we'll talk about that too, huh? Yes, they brought stories about it, yeah. but not much. Um, some came after Ghetto Uprising. Right, then we'll talk about yes. that too later. All right, where we left? Well, let's first set the time. It's November the 3rd, 1978. 7 p.m. We're sitting at the residence of Shari and Morton Silverman, 966 Cassiano Road. This is tape 5, side A, 501. And we're continuing our interview with Mr. Eric Kulka. And when we had a concluded our interview the other night we said some of the things that we'll talk about will be the uh, the uprising in the camp the revolt the escape the destruction of the crematory but I had begun to ask you at that time Mr. Kolka when Jews were coming in from Warsaw and from places like that. What did you hear about the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising? So you were starting to tell me about that at that time. Yes, they told uh, about the Ghetto Uprising, they told that uh, they were very... Uh, first, they told that many of them died for hunger. They were absolute, they were hung, hungry. Where, in Warsaw? Yes, then uh, they smuggled something with this with this Polish people over the over the wall, but the Polish people had no they have a long for guilt. They 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 misused their situation, that, and if they had not for uh, with what to pay, so they didn't give them any money any any food and that started the situation with Treblinka with the, the deportations and then find out that it, the, uh, that it is Treblinka the, the dead camp well, you didn't know about Treblinka did you this was the first time you heard about I, Treblinka the so first people time. came from Warsaw yes the first time people came from Warsaw there was Treblinka that came the day um, they gave people as in the uh, uh, same manner as in, uh, as in Auschwitz, but not with the monoxide gum, uh, not pussy gas, they told they, they used the old uh, uh, 
or motors, you know, with with uh, ex exhaust. Uh, exhaust. Uh -huh. Yes, this uh, they. Told. This is what they told. You. Well, this is what they told. But what did they tell you about the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising? They told did they mention on Alevich's name or anybody? No, the name there. No, nah, no. At the time, the name was not mentioned. That they told it that, that uh, nearly all that uh, it was some weeks. They had witness. Uh, they uh, bought witness from Pol Polish people and from Armia Krajowa, and uh, that they end uh, only very, uh, very. They all were then killed from the Germans. The Germans sent always more and more uh, soldiers, mm -hmm. and then only small groups came to channels to partisans. This was all we watched. We knew in the camps. Mm -hmm. No more. So then. What did you think about what they had told you? Did it, did it excite you to think that maybe Jews finally were shooting back, or no? I it didn't I make that much of an impression. No, huh? we only saw that it is not possible. That we saw that it is not possible to to oppose the Germans. That every attempt to to go uh, to resist. Is only at the attempt of uh, Zweifunken. No, Zweifunken. It's I mean, uh, uh, futility. It would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work out. It wouldn't be successful. No. No. We saw at the time when we. <coughs> I will then let later also to explain you the escape. We saw that the the people in the camps are so ex firstly exhausted mm -hmm. that secondly there are so many people so many different kinds that any organization you can tell to somebody who is so hungry and so weak he should organize a, 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 a resistance it's for him it's nothing he will, he will eat that is the first thing what he will eat he is not so angry he is not uh, you can not approach such a man who is hungry with nothing else only to give, give him something to eat that is the first thing after he was, then then the second then can come the thought to conspiracy to resistance and so so at that time it didn't impress it so because impressed. you wanted to live you wanted food yeah. that was the most important the mo most important and we saw the German over overmacht, the overmacht, the German, and uh, the, they they make all. We saw only one thing: that the the um, the help can come from um, outside world. This we saw from the inner world, one possible, and therefore we not we only the the resistance movement, the conspiracy movement. In many groups, German, Polish, Czech, and so on, all try it, either together, either on its own account, as I, to 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 smuggle out uh, mess reports. What is happening in Auschwitz? That that we believe that is not true. That the world doesn't know it. This was the main, and this also was. Then Sirankevich said, What made you think that the world didn't know? I will let you know. Yeah. First, nobody helped us. In the, in the, we uh, listen also radio. There were the people, the civil arbeiter who listened radio, uh, Polish. They never told that they mentioned something that uh, in the mm, British radio something is like that. Then secondly, uh, thirdly, that we mentioned that no, nobody listens, that the, the, uh, there were very often flying um, Airplane. airplanes, and we saw the airplanes. And when the, when the airplanes fl uh, was flown there, so as the SS were going to the, in the, in the bunkers. Mm. And we were going out of the blocks, and we, 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 we mm. prayed to God that, that some, some bomb should come and, and should, should bomb the, the camp. So, mm -hmm. and then we saw that nobody, nobody cares. That they did, and we couldn't imagine if, if they, it would be, that if they would know that they, they would help us. Yes. Now, if they would have bombed the camps, they could have killed all the Jews too, right? No, it was. You didn't think about it. 
first we didn't, uh, we were killed sowieso, we were dead. We only out the Nache that the Germans would be killed, that, that, uh, that they knew that the camps exist. Yes, only the sign. But sowieso, no, nobody cares, nobody knows. We were dead. Practically we were dead. We know every day diet people, diet people, and even if I was uh, in good condition as a Schlosser and so, so I was still every day, I was in danger to be finished off by an assessment. He shot me, sure. No, 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 or maybe some capo, which, uh, which uh, misused, uh, which uh, would have vodka. I, I will let you know one thing, one, one, how this you will understand. We were a group of four, you know, this is four, sure. and then we were the greatest group, twenty, the greater, that was the whole commando. So, and our might was great, you know, the organization. We knew we could go there, there, and we could organize Vodka and so, and we could organize the, uh, Canada, and the Scapos told us, look, I want this and this. If you will not bring it, so I will beat your friend or so on, something like that. To us, they couldn't do nothing. But the Capos were always very, and they uh, came in, in our, in our uh, shop and they searched for valuables, the Capos, yes, uh, illegally. And they, or, or sometimes, we organized something from a bro from from the Ausen Commando. You know what is Ausen Commando? People who was going were to our and uh, we uh, we were not going to Ausen Commandos very rarely, and we gave to somebody gold somewhere like that, and he bring us vodka. We wanted the vodka to to, to bribe people, and this Muslim one he gave this vodka here or so. And he brought it two, three times. And one, it, it uh, the couple knew it. And how could the Muslim bring anything if he didn't know what he was doing? Look, th we gave him to eat, and we told him go to this and this commando. And the Muslim was not. Um, it was not such a Muslim that he couldn't go. He, we gave him to eat, and we told him uh, bring this and this. And nobody could bring three, four, uh, maybe a sl slice of salami or, or goose or something like that. It must be brought in, in small portions, you know. And these people, this, uh, they took it with the commando. There were certain commando where it was, where the civilians were um, as, uh, what is as, the Fachleute, you know, Fachleute, Mumchim, uh, working, yes, mm -hmm. and this, they were afraid, they, they had food, and they, they, they sell the food for, for money, which we organized from Canada, money, gold, diamonds, and so on. Uh, well, why didn't you go get the food I instead look, of the most? I could not go to work, we, our work was limited for the camp area, you see. The whole camp era inside, but not outside to 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 build that building and so on. But you mean they would use a Muslim man for that? Yes. But no, you, but it you was said a Muslim man really look, didn't know what he was doing at look, the time. It was not so a Muslim man in this that time. He was a very poor poor. He was uh, exhausted. Not yet, man. Like the Muslim man, but he wanted. Uh, er war unauffällig, you know, what is unauffällig. He was not, if somebody was very good equipped and so and so, so all assessment come here and they took you. So. But if a, a very a poor man, ausgehungert um, man, yeah. so, er war noch nicht so ganz nieder, aber er hat Rex gehabt und der war nicht, so, wenn der assessment checket, so they took. Ah, this can have He probably figured he, that guy would have nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. so he looked out. So he let him try. So he let him try. And this, we were, this was the way how to bring from the camps 
without checking from the outside camp, you know. As I told you, it was in the Postenkette, klein and große Postenkette. It was the huge area where all these thousands and thousands were working uh, with this dreckige Arbeit, the Steine tragen, die und but we have only the work, only um, exceptionally we came there to 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 this uh, to to the whole uh, huge area behind the posten kette, yes, exception. And when we came, so we came with a posten, with a with a, a guard. But inside this all these camps, we could go freely. This was it. No, on one side we know we know that this capo uh, the, told uh, they knew our ways and so they told to the SS men look this uh, sh- uh, the Schloss uh, are sending through these and these people they are sending in the camp some food and this organized from the from the um, civilians and the, uh, they were with the SS man in good relations so they checked all this uh, stuff and they found by this by this so they took it over so and not nothing happened but then we knew something we make a revenge to the capos we must show them that we are strong so every capo had a ein Zimmerchen, you know like blocked the so they had in the, in the I, and he had also some stuff yet uh, vodka and this and this thing, and we knew it. We make a, from Schloss and Sperrhack, you know, we could open a, a, a Schloss, uh, we could open, and we saw it. And so we told, uh, we de- told to them, then to this Lager, this, the, that this and this couple have the vodka in, in there. Mm-hmm. Willi Nachman was the man who told it to Danish. Uh-huh. And then they came also with the assessment and they make their revision and they found it. a lot of things. So they confiscated and the couple came in the SK. Wutka was a, a very... Uh, and they, then they knew who we were, we were away. But they knew that it is a revenge from this group um, uh, of the maintenance commando. And since that time we had room. The exp- they what did they do to the capo when they found out look sometimes in the capo was uh, they took him for uh, 14 days they been there up and to work yes mm-hmm. to work and if the offense was very great so they give him in the, the straf company straf company for this capo uh, they they didn't care they had also in the straf company after one two months they came out but when they knew that we are organized and we can we can make revenge upon them, so they let us know. It was always the fight, like in normal life. One group, second group, observe. This would have this and this. So I only. But this was there were the conditions in the in the camp. Yes, you must. Uh, you are t- telling always. Uh, alles kann man mit Geld machen, ja? Yeah? Yes. Das ist dasselbe Ware im Lager. If not with Geld, with Gold, with Diamond and so on. If you had that stuff, so you could do. If you had nothing, you could not. And if you had ex- access, to have the access to this stuff. This was the main thing. And the access, the road to the access, where this... work on these places and always the assessment were involved they would have something for them they could not alone organize and these were mostly young people the assessment yeah mostly young people the 20 24 25 uh-huh. yes. yes let me ask you did you ever get into the town of Auschwitz Yes, but not not alone. We were we were driving through with the car, with the truck through the Auschwitz, through the Auschwitz. When we were going to Buna, you know, we were sometimes we make in the beginning constructions mm-hmm. for Buna. 
very primitive eyes, eyes and the song constructions there in this in this uh, shop and we they were loaded on the truck and under the guard we were going through the um, city through the town of Auschwitz and then to Buna and we put it up under the guards and then we came back what did the Auschwitz look like to you when you went through it uh, was very sh shabby a very shabby uh, city, small city, very shabby, and Carl, you saw very few people, very few people you could saw here. Very shabby people, schmutzig, a schmutzige Stadt. Was the streets paved? Uh, no, uh, and that, dirt? no, the uh, mud, mud was mud, there, mud, mud was there. And what did they do at Bona? Uh, Buna, we were the only there in the beginning when Buna be began. So the Buna, they built this uh, huge uh, factory for Ige Farben and to make from coal uh, fuel, yes? Uh -huh. And the, the, the first construction which they wanted, yes? The, the, the Eisen construction, and uh, before they had their own uh, shops there, so we brought from there uh, those Eisenstücke Traverse. No, no, no. It was two or three times. So then you went to Auschwitz uh, just two or three times, huh? No, not more. No. And, uh, and otherwise, you were in the camp, going from Birkenau to Auschwitz. In Birkenau, from Auschwitz to Birkenau camp, it was gone, but it was not through the ta through the city. I know. Yeah. But you did you get to go once you were in Birkenau? Did you go back to Aus to Auschwitz? One. Did you go back yes, there yes. How Only many times? Ten times in the whole city. Then we reason? wanted material. No. We wanted some material with the fasten. This was the fasten, material fasten. We wanted for our shops uh, to, uh, there came uh, a new equipment for uh, for crematoria, come new equipment for a bathroom, for desinfection station. And this equipment, the main store was in Auschwitz I, yes. Uh -huh. And so we came when this, this uh, also the Dachdecker. So from time to time we came with the Wagerle uh, under the guard of an assessment and we came to Auschwitz. What do you mean a Wagerle? No, uh, a truck. A, a small truck. A small truck too. You would get on a, a gasoline driven truck? No, we, we, we liked the horses. Oh, you? No, that's what I want to hear. Like horses? They wouldn't even give you a truck. No. Who would walk from Birkenau to yeah. Auschwitz? Three, four, six people like horses to Auschwitz with a guard and we brought some material and so on and so on. Yeah. And to back, and to and back. But in these connections, maybe it would be interesting for me how we got the radio in the, in the camp. Uh -huh. So, look, there was not far from, about two kilometers from our Birkenau camp, was a, a, a great enterprise, Sir Lege Betriebe. What do you mean? How I could describe it? The, the, you, all uh, uh, planes which were shot down on the front, mm -hmm. either uh, German planes or, or foreign planes, this nobody told you. So they were assembled at one place in Auschwitz, in a huge area, yes. And there were mostly Russians working on it. And they assembled, they demonted these planes, and the German planes, they took over all the spare parts from them and um, uh, classified as a spare parts. Classified. Classified as a spare parts, very exactly they were in German, uh, German, um, uh, mechanics and so on, and this this uh, foreign, so they only took like material. They had some zusammengebrochen. They took from them materials, yes, uh, materials, uh, steel and uh, copper and so. And we also, this was for us for the Schlosser for, for the maintenance a source of how to absorb material. They had black and this and this. Mm -hmm. And during the war there were nothing. So we became up and to from time to time allowance to go when we had to, to work for this. Uh, Auschwitz there was a lot of to work. And so viel Blocke 
blete vano, kišnu, dale se van, van ted materijal, je. Oh. So, we came to them and uh, we brought material from, from these Zerlege Betriebe. And there were uh, Russians and they told that they organized revolvers, they organized a full chocolate. When the Flugzeuge zusammengebrochen so, sind sie gefallen und wenn das zerquetscht war, innen waren Revolvers, Food, auch Radio. And when we had contact, and when it's uh, engineer of, uh, a Russian engineer came, uh, which was, they, they lived in our camp, you see this people. Uh, hold it for a minute. Did they separate the Russian uh, soldiers? No, they, they was not Russian soldiers. They were Russians. That were Ukrainians and Russians. Oh, but no. they weren't the Jews. No, no, they were not Jews. Ukrainian Goya. Got Ukrainian Goya. Yes. Uh -huh. Not uh, Russian soldiers. No, no, this was, they were liquidated at the time. It was in 44, which I uh -huh. Maybe, mainly Ukrainian, but, but they were in camp, like me. But, uh, and uh, some. Uh, but they were not being liquidated. No, they were liquidated by the work. Uh -huh. Not by us. Not by us. <laughs> And they had uh, good food that they found also, and some ones, uh, 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 not, uh, uh, once uh, um, engineer of, of the Russian, we, they were very intelligent people there. So, and we were, um, he came to, 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 our, um, to our maintenance um, shop and so, and uh, we... Yes, but he told us, look, I have found in the, in the play, in the radio, and I mean, she said, we, it, if you could manage it and to get this radio in the camp, so maybe we can hear um, what it is doing on in the, in the world. So, now we were, very long time, we were, uh, we were um, taught uh, how, to, how to manage the, the whole thing. So once we already wanted some material, and the material we wanted mostly for kitchen, for the kitchens. And the kitchen was an Oberscharfier, so we told him, look, we want material from the Zerlege Betriebe, we will go there. And so, eingespannt, no? 20 people, eingespannen, capo mit einer Peitsche, and lost. 20 Kessel, 20 Calderons was the material for this. For this, I, I don't want five or thousand people. Mm -hmm. they, they brought every day such a platform, gross. And we told him, look, the, we we want to have some material. Give us one one cardro more that the people are saving this material for us, and uh, we wanted it. So and he, he told, yes. So you have one one cardro material more. For the also for exchange for this material, and so we are going through this through this gate and capo had melded and so twenty eftlinge and and twenty one cauldrons of soup from lager to Zerlege Betriebe. So we we were coming to Zerlege Betriebe on the place near the place where the, this uh, this bo uh, this engineer worked, and we uh, the capo uh, told. Uh, angekommen, uh, 20 prisoners with 21 cauldrons. And he told, ah, 21, only 20. But he told, uh, they, they wanted some material, and they gave 21, they should go, uh, have a better time. And he told, well, this in Vogelfest, we, we have chocolate here, nichts. I, I don't like to give this one cauldron back. I, um, I don't allow that they should got uh, more this one cup. So our concept was a little, uh, we would uh, give in this cauldron you know, this material. So we brought this material with this full cauldron with this soup near the place where this radio was. The radio was not great. I get part of a military in, in, a, in a plant, you know, in a plant, in a, in a case. No, in a case, mm. in a case also, but in a, no, uh, when the soldiers are in the in winter, they are telling such a, uh, uh, not in a knapsack, knapsack, uh, metromokavi plash, 
ein Umdurch, ein against the rain, you know. The oh, raincoat? Rain, such a raincoat, yes. Uh -huh. Such a masked raincoat, where, where uh -huh. has the, and in this such a mask, he, he uh, packed this, this uh, arm with wire and so, and we put it in this soup, inside, in uh -huh. this cauldron. So then we, and we, we, we brought some um, uh, material, some, some tins and this and the uh, food of the, and uh, then we came back. Then when we came through the door, so the scaffold told 20, 20, uh, 20 empty cauldrons and one uh, full with soup. And he uh, looked at the soup, why, explained it. So we can take a hair, let it go to the kitchen. So we came to the kitchen, we brought the material, and then this, this, uh, this oversight from the kitchen has um, told, so one soup here. And we told him, look, we are working so hard uh, with, uh, in, our, in our shop for you, so let us give us this soup for our uh, people. We are 20 there and we are hungry and so look to have you should have it so she gave us this caldron with the soup and we we brought it to to the camp to our to the shop you know to the shop then we take it out we dig it in in the earth with with some cigar and then in in one week ten days the radio was installed and it where the engineer installed it there was a, there was you a, had you had enough batteries, huh? No, they oh, use it like a heat, like electric. There was electric. Uh -huh. So and uh, always we in the evening we heard, and there were two or four or or phones. Yes, on this radio. Earphones, yeah. earphones, radio, and we every every evening after the the we dig it in in this uh, cigar. And uh, there are full of, of planks and so, a whole sort of one, uh, mm -hmm. But once, I think that was one or two months, two months, once came the assessment, came and they make a revision of our workshop. They would find something valuable. When you mean revision, you mean uh, they would come in the search. That Yes, in the search, and yeah. the, but they search also, they would have some strings uh, for the, 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 the socks or some suits or some luck or some money and when they found it so it was good oh it was your side lumpen and so and they always when they when they searched so they would search something valuable for themselves yeah they wanted something yeah, for yeah. themselves so that made them happy yeah, they did. Yeah. but when the crowds Mm. When we when we uh, the radio, when we uh, hear the radio, he forget the one earphones to to he uh, didn't to hit, got to, to hide it to hide it and he give it under this uh, table. Yes, this is out of Kraus, your friend. Kraus, yes, yeah. friend. So one and the assessment found this. What is what is this? What is this? Because I don't know what is this. I don't know. I'm a schnure. Schnure. So. And he came, this assessment. She was so proud. And he was. He was so proud. Endlich habe ich gefunden. Ihr seid Lumpen, Spione und alles. And he was going nach vorne, you know, to the Gestapo. Yeah. It's what the, the camp was 200 meter long. And it showed. He, fought, he found earphones in our, in our, so, and there was only Kraus there and Rosenfeld, and we all other were away in these old camps, and so they gave advance signal, this, this is passier, this is okay. This was happening, yeah. So we were very, very, then, the spread, now it shows, take this and, uh, advance uh, one man from the Gestapo uh, who was uh, in charge of the, the what is there they, they bring all these uh, bread you know the planks from this mm -hmm. and so and then came 
Boka, das der Lager, das dieser Berufsverbrecher, der de Danisch, you know, der Krung, der Gott, die wandte doch sie, die was mit uns, und die wandte, was hat der gemacht, ihr Lumpen, ihr habt. Und Kraus war sehr, sehr uh, clever, aber das war true. Kraus dort look, for what purpose you have this here von von Kraus dort look, Lagerführer, Do you alone told me that I should repair for Lagerführer a lamp, you know, Lagerführer, the Lagerateste, give, gave us a lamp the, which was broken, the, the draft, this uh, scoot, no? The wire, yes? Yes. So he told, so where should I get a new, a new, a new wire? So we looked upon a material for this. So we got the earphones, uh, forget about it, but the lamp is here. That was true. And the lager test, uh, he was also very, very uh, uh, lucky that, that, that he could explain it. So he told, yes, yes, I was, and he was going then, and he told, and so the whole thing was, and they didn't make search in, in the app, you see. And then we, 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 in the evening, we, in, uh, we had broken, we uh, all and verbrannt on this uh, schmiede, feldschmiede, you know what this feldschmiede, it's the often like the, 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 when the horses are, are, you know, make horses for horses, this, uh, horseshoes, horseshoes, yes, yeah. so there is such a feldschmiede, such a, um, a fire which you must, Oh yes, yeah. you see, you, the I, bellows, bellows, oh, bellows, and so, yes, the bellows so you can make fire to yes. eat the and uh, this, these the bellows we have in the, in our shop, uh -huh. and so we have for brand alles in these bellows, and so we we escape from this. Uh -huh. So it was. Now tell me, all this time, where's Otto? Otto? Yes, your son. Otto? Yes. Otto was at that time. It was 44. He was in our shop. At that time, he was already in our shirt, like learning. Did like, he live with you? He, no, he, he's, he's, uh, he was on a block 20, on a block, on another block, block, on a very good block, nearly prominent block, there we, he slept. But he worked. But every day he came to you? He came and he worked, we gave him a work, you, this do, this do, you, uh, he should clean, you clean the whole thing, mm -hmm. and should this do. Like a learning, yes, he was the oldest, he was in 44, he was in autumn. So we, we escaped from this, this. But let me ask you, no. did there such a thing as one day a week they didn't work you, or did they work you every single day? We worked every day. Every no, day. no, no, in some, Sunday we didn't work. Sunday was already free, but Sunday was Better way. What was Sunday? Sunday you should was at the lousing. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a control Sunday. Sometime in Sunday they they changed one in a month your your um, underwear. Yes. Underwear. Underwear. Sunday was running water the whole day in this uh, side in this pipe. Right. Sunday you could make uh, wash your your laundry alone. It was, you could make fire in this, uh, with wood, which you could organize alone. And suddenly after two hours, war betruhe. you must go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, when, when uh, you were, the, all, the whole camp was betruhe. It's mean, uh, quiet. Quiet. And then they came, Blokovi, Blokovitest, and these uh, Stummdienste, if somebody was not quiet, so they triggered him, they, they beat him, and so they make fun of this. Now, what, what do you mean if he wasn't quiet? If he, if he if they talked, if they were, he was not in his, in his, uh, uh, in his bed. Why yes. do you think they gave Sunday for that reason, no, to rest? Sunday was a, a, a rest day, always. Yeah, but why do you think they did? No, this assessment would not. Uh, oh, so he didn't want to work. No, they didn't work. Assessment were not at the time. So, so nice. 
Dus, I see. En de civielarbeider die moet werken. Didn't want to work. And the whole was not there. So it's easy to keep everybody quiet. We were quiet, and so we had that. That was the only day when we could then rasier wash on the on Sunday. Yes. The shave. The shave. Yes. With, with blood. This this was such a rule. Uh, as Gavima told it, always the people were, were, were uh, beat to death. Also. Now, we want to talk about three things. The uprising in the camps, which was the revolt, the yes. escape, or the destruction of the crematory. Which came first? I look, did I, did I you, um, have I explained you how it was possible to escape from Auschwitz? No. No, did not. This uh, many people cannot understand. So, uh, you remember the mess, yes? Yes. It was the inner circle, yes, where right. the people were. Postenkette, kleine postenkette, the small uh, uh, guard, chain of guards, mm -hmm. and the great chain of guards. The small chain of guards was working only in the uh, in the evening, when all the people were inside in the camp, after six o'clock, there were four people in there. But in the small place, there was four four people, four guards. Uh, no, no. In this, uh, there was the kleine posten. The kleine were every one hundred meter. First, yeah. there was a wire with, yes, with I electricity. Every one hundred or one hundred fifty meter was a t tower. With right. assessment, yes. Mm -hmm. One man, one man with a uh, uh, gun. One man with right. a gun. With a gun. And then was the door was closed, and on the door was this small house of this uh, assessment caserne, caserne, you know. Right. right. And there were four assessment, four men, four men, two two on duty and two sleeping. Yes. Uh -huh. And they have a direct contact with with uh, with the whole. Uh, alarm system, yes. Or how? By telephone? By telephone, yes. Uh -huh. By telephone. I see. That's it, yes. And so nobody could go out from the camp. And if if somebody came five meters from this, from, so the, the what, uh, without warning, shoot, they were shooting. In, in the Even if they walked out of the gate? If they walk out now to the fence, to the fences. Oh, you mean if they even came close to the close, fence? Close, five meters close to the fence, there was a, a zone, a warning zone, uh -huh. was a, 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 a wire, not lo a loaded wire, a wire was there, uh -huh. and warning zone. Es wird scharfke, ohne warning scharf geschossen. It will be they shoot it without any warning sharp. It mm -hmm. was written there. And they did it, huh? They did it. It was many times. And if somebody would make suicide, so he did it. Uh huh. So, so the, the, in the in the morning, when the commando came out, this postenkette, these old wards were going down. Yes, the electricity was uh, all was put out. You see, we yeah, turned off, turned off, and then was a great postenkette, for instance, here aufgestellt. This changed according to the to the place where you worked. Yes, it could be expanded on the south, on the east, mm -hmm. according to the the places where the mood should be or where the where they have digged for for um, piece uh, sands, you know, for sands. And or for material to build, yes. Mm -hmm. These were all all kinds of very he heavy works, and all the, this was watched from the from the uh, mm -hmm. chains, and between the chains where there were oh, um, yeah. no towers. On the towers were one assessment with a gun, and between was an assessment and a hound and the, and the uh, hound. A dog. dog, a dog, a dog, yes. So, so was the great postenkette. All right, now let me get this straight. Every 150 feet or yards, meters, meters, every, 100, meters. Every, every, every 150 meters, meters, there was a, a guard yeah. in the tower. On the tower, yes. There was a guard with a dog. And, and there are also guard houses, little, uh, no, no, no. guard houses. 
only this this guards the, this uh, uh, towers mm -hmm. which which you can move these are very t light towers it was tower but this is on the outside of outside, the whole thing outside not the inner camp not, not the inner the inner camp had had, had a very very fast towers and so on and they could not be moved oh. but there were moved the towers and between the towers was going a, a ward with a dock mm -hmm. yes between this yes the guard nobody, with the dock. You, you see that right. they should shoot but this this guard and he had the whistle and when somebody approached uh, very near so he whistled and this this uh, guards uh, were shooting so so now when this area was when somebody decided to to escape so he must build a bunker you know what is a bunker mm -hmm. of them it is a hole and, and a hiding place so uh, what what was the normal they uh, for instance they uh dig it for the dig it for uh, mm -hmm. go ahead. they dig it for uh, uh, met, uh building material yes in the fields stones and uh, sands and so on and so on and this digging it was very they go very deep maybe uh, seven eight meters and they dig it in a hole inside mm -hmm. a hole there were many people and every day they did the hole when they came from where they give here a plank and they shit it through and the next day they will go in the hole they make further hole and so on and from the hole they make a pipe that you can breathe you see you can breathe breathe and then uh, it, it takes uh, weeks then they took them uh, something to food and uh, compass and also pistols to equip to be prepared for this mm -hmm. and then when they decided to escape so it was already two two or three together so they were hidden inside in this in this uh, hole. hole and they didn't get mm, to the camp so when the camp was uh, when all the people were coming and a roll call was and they uh, missed two people so it, it was in advance they were identified which number mm -hmm. and now it whistled Ooh, like a siren mm -hmm. and now the posten kette never the grosse posten kette never descended before the appel was abgestimmt no uh, they didn't come down and the roll call was finished or when the appel was finished so it was given order posten kette zusammenziehen großen pet posten kette abtreten the great chain of guard uh, uh, cancelled and then the great change of God was cancelled and came to the camp to see or other peoples yes uh -huh. they came but inside now. inside inside or to the garnison there were much much more than it yeah. was wanted so but when somebody escaped so it was uh, uh, and now it began a search and the gross posten kette the great great chain stand for three nights and three days instant so this and now this was the search with capos with horns with assessment in the whole area was a search upon this uh, find out the people for the bunker where the people are hiding themselves so uh, sometimes they found them mostly not when they after three day three after three uh, so we brought, uh, during the day we could brought them uh, some food the people who work in the commando yes it was always uh, it was not so guarded so the whole it was not possible to guard them uh, three four hundred people are working so it was here a cup or there a cup of so you could yeah. give them food. so after three days they have to decide this we have on these tapes which I, I gave you 
in, the, in, the, in this Sie dann ab, wenn der Herr der Kommandoposten geht, der abtreten, so after three days, wenn der Dieben found him, der Drehposten geht, der Dieben geht, der Watch. So then they have a free way, yes, a free way, but the whole area, nearly 40 Quadratkilometer, was evacuated, that was interesting Gebiet Auschwitz, you know what it is, the interesting Gebiet Auschwitz, it means it belongs only to the Auschwitz, these 40 square kilometers was the interesting, uh, it was the property of the Auschwitz, Auschwitz complex. complex and nobody, civilian, nothing was allowed to be there without any, any allowance of SS. Mm -hmm. So, they have to pass, but near was, it was a, a river, Sola, Sola river, yes, a Wisla, there were two rivers. So first they have to cross the rivers, yes, this was the border, and the rivers were not so far, they were about five kilometers from the camp. Mm -hmm. So when they crossed the river, so they were likely um, a little uh, more safety. But for the Polish Polish uh, uh, escapees, the Polish populations uh, helped them. Yes, they helped them. But to the Jewish population was very hostile. They were very hostile. So nevertheless, the Slovaks. And, and uh, also they in, in such a similar way. It was uh, different, for instance, they had a, a huge barracks, there were many planks, and a huge heap of planks and, uh, for new material. So they made the hidden, and always they have a tabak with benzene, which they pour it on, uh, on, sa on the place that the, ho that the dogs couldn't uh, smell. No that the dogs couldn't smell. Mm -hmm. This they knew already. And always they were compass. And so these people, these uh, Jews, I will concentrate on these five Jews, which I have the documentation, they, they managed to go uh, in, the, in the day or, in the, or during the day they were sleeping. And during the night they were, go, they were going. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they they fear, they saw a German mm, uh, Streife, a German uh, police, yes, in this mm -hmm. interesting bit. They were searching for people, but they managed to come to the Slovakia, this, this uh, Jewish boys, and uh, from which I have the microfilm, and they came to Gilina, and they came, they made the protocols, and first they would not believe him. They thought that they, they are lying on the... Who did they talk to? First, when they came, they came first to a doctor, to a Jewish doctor. Where was he? It, it was uh, Dr. Polak in Gilina, you know, a Jew, Jew. In Slovakia there were some Jewish doctors. That still were walking around and not in prison or anything? No, first that they, they get a hiding in the place, in the, in the, in the hut, in the, yeah. uh, in, in the mountains, and then the the um, the men uh, promised them they will bring him to the uh, there was a market such market you know uh, like the, the the farmers market and what a very very no uh, what I'm asking Mr. Koka no you say this doctor and there were other Jews yes they were living in the town with yes the in Gilina and he they came to this doctor and they weren't worried about being picked up by the Germans or killed no, by the Ukrainians there were, there were no Germans in the Slovakia. In Slovakia there were no Germans, there were no Ukrainians. There was the Slovak start there was a, a, during the Hitler time it was a free st state, but yeah. it was uh, uh, hostile. But nevertheless the people in 44 were already, they knew that it will come change and so. And this doctor was a Jewish doctor. Oh, and so they didn't turn him in? No, and, and he, co he was connected with it. There were Jewish communities at the, in the Slovakia. There was a main Jewish community, Ustredni Rada Židov. Yes, they let them be. They organized. They didn't liquidate them without any... any. And many of these Jews had uh, exceptions as an experts. For instance, uh, he was an exception from... Uh, about 4,000 Jews had, uh, had exceptions that they are experts for some 
economy and so on, and the Slovak used them as experts, as Jews, but as experts. And so this uh, Dr. Polak from Zilina, all the details are there in this state, he, um, uh, he uh, gave a report to Bratislava, as to this mm-hmm. Ustred Nashidov, and this Ustred Nashidov had two groups, one was legal and one was illegal. Right, now give me the word again. Ustredna Židov, that is a central of Jews. Oh. They make the, the, the Slovaks uh, ordered to the... Like the Judenrat? Judenrat. Uh-huh. No, you, consul, Jewish consul, it was yeah. not a Juden. They were uh, free. Uh-huh. Jewish consul. Well, yeah, can, oh, I see. Jewish consul but under the jurisdiction of... Where, the, in Bratislava? In Bratislava, a huge... And they had evidence, they had their own camps, and so... Well, Bratislava Brat- was also Brat- called uh, Brest- Pressburg. Pressburg, yes. that's the same thing. Uh-huh. Pressburg. And they had two governments. One was uh, uh, then two kinds of governments. One was the government which was loyal to the, to the Slovak uh, regime, and the other was underground, yes? Uh-huh. And so they sent the uh, engineer Kaslansky uh, to see these people to see these people, these, these escapees. And first, uh, he would not believe them as they, they looked very confused and so, but then uh, he, uh, he um, made hearing with each separately. Mm-hmm. And when he saw that they are telling exactly the same, yes, separately, and when they uh, were uh, uh, telling the names of people who were deported from the Slovakia, which who they knew, so they believed them. And they made a protocol of 30 pages, the protocol which is from the microphone. And the protocol came to Bratislava. I, I also made this, this um, testimony with the girl who typed this. this mm-hmm. and, and then came an architecture according to their to their, uh, he make a plan, you know, a mm-hmm. sketch of, of the situation, how the people, what they were making, a situation plan. You, the wise one, to make it then later. I will show it to you. And these uh, protocols were on the 23rd, this I understand, uh, of April, 44. Came Kastner, maybe the name Kastner is known to you. Yes. Kastner came from, they found to Budapest through uh, Fleischmann, in the Fleischmann was in, in, involved. And Kastner came and he wa- waited till the protocol, 30 pages, is translated to Hungary. And he was the first man who brought on the 20, 23rd or 26th, at the end of April, this protocol to Hungary. What it is prepared in Auschwitz for Hungarian Jews? What what it happened there? But in all his uh, writings, also the Kastnerberg, maybe you heard this customer, he doesn't never mention this 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 thing. So later the, the protocols were going through shel- sh- six channels channels mm-hmm. to Switzerland, to the Czech government Switzerland to the United States, to Weissmandel, to these rabbis, to these orthodox rabbis. Uh, all the, the protocols were going out of, of the, they mm-hmm. should help. And this, this four, uh, this uh, first group was there, the two, and then later came another group, uh, Rosin and uh, Cheshek. They, came, they escaped the same way on the 27th of May, 1944, when the deportation of Hungarian Jews were in full swung already. Now, so why do you remember these dates so clearly? Oh, this I never will forget. Look, at first... You had a calendar in camp? No, uh, this was when somebody... Uh, s- first, we made notes. We made notes, as I told you. You constantly wrote. Yes, we made when somebody... Uh, and we figured it out. And then I wrote it in, in my book, in the book, so many times, so I never can forget it. You can read it in there. Yeah, but how did you know, before ah. you wrote it in the book, how did you remember the dates? 
But when, they, when it occurred for him, oh, said me, oh, Lubna on the 7th of April escaped the Verba and the zone, zone number so and so. So, we knew every day. We had the, uh, we counted, we had Volkisch Beobachter, we uh, did this uh, assessment, had weggeworfen there, these newspapers, you know. So, uh, it was not so, so tight, so close, uh, and all the, the, Civilians brought the Polish press, the Polish press, so, mm -hmm. yes. So we knew all. Uh, then it was the written uh, writing day, and we knew every day when it's Sunday, we knew. So, and, uh, so we knew. Uh, this, mm -hmm. this was, we were not so close. So this is April the 27th. I, uh, they say the, the first swing, now, the Hungarian uh, the, that execution. Was on the April 20, and on the April 7 escaped Walter Rosenberg and Fredo Wetzler when, the, when they were made preparing for the, uh, the Hungarian Jews to come. And they didn't come back and did, we hear nothing from them. So then the second patch on the 27th of May, yes, was when the Rosin and the, um, 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 Mordovic. And all they came on the same place. To, to the Slovakia, they, they had luck, this I learned later. They, in the Liptovsky Svati Mikuláš, and they were arrested. This is also an interesting thing. When they crossed the border, they were arrested, they crossed the border on the 6th of June, exactly when the evacuation was, you know. How I know it, he, uh, he, they, he told me that, he could, that they came in a, in a Krčma, in a pub, you know, in a pub. You know what is a pub in a, in a bar, in a, in a pub, pub, yeah. yeah. And there were Slovak drunken radio and go, oh, oh, uh, now we will win the, the war, the, the well, allies. You're talking about D-Day. D-Day, yes. Yeah, June the 6th, 1944, the invasion, yes, yes, the invasion, invasion of yes. Europe. Uh, did, 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 this was the day, and they, so they, they also were, they, they, uh, Drunk uh, yesterday oh. very, and there were chan gendarmes, yes, mm -hmm. there were gendarmes, and they uh, were very napadi, auffällig, they were auffällig, mm -hmm. and the then they uh, were going out, and somebody took them for the, the to on the car to on the uh, car the drawing by horses, you know. Mm -hmm. And the gendarmes uh, took them in the in the custody, and now they were they were. Uh, These are Slovak police. Slovak police. Slovak police. Arre arrested. Them. Arrested them. It's Slovak police. But when the Slovak police arrested them, so they told that they were on the work and so on and so, on, and they asked if there is a Jewish community, and the Spiskanovets was the Jewish community. So two Jews came and gave to everyone. One dollar to to uh, in the tasche, you know, in the pocket. And, pocket. and they told them, look, you must told that you are you are smuggling, you are smugglers, you are uh, valuta smugglers. And so the next day, by the hearing, they were valuta smugglers, and they uh, they let them go six weeks um, uh, prison for the altars, and they brought them to to Liptovsky Svati Mikulaj, and here they they. And joined the first group, yes. Mm -hmm. The first group was still there. The six people. The two, no. The first group was six, wasn't it? The first group was, were two people. Two people. Two people Verba and uh, Wetzler, uh, Wetzler, and the second group was Rosin and uh, and, uh, and uh, Mordovic. So there were two, four people together. Four people all together. Right? All together, and in Ju it was in June. It was in already in June, and now uh, these four people. They make also a protocol. They told the same. Only they told only the details. When you're saying a protocol, you're talking about a statement. No, the statement. Yes, you yes. make a statement. Statement with this Jewish, with this uh, Ustred Najidov. Yes. With this um, uh, council. With this council, but only two men. With the Neumann and the uh, and the uh, engineer Krasniansky. These two men. Were they Slovak? Jews, Jews. I know, but were they uh, Jewish, Slovaks? Slovakian Jews? Yes, Slovakian Jews. 
and they make the additional statement what it happened since that time how many um, how many these uh, Hungarian Jews were coming and so and so and one of this copy gave this uh, the, there was a nuncius you know Pope nuncius in Bratislava uh -huh. and they gave the one copy of this report to the Pope nuncius uh, in Bratislava, Burzio. The Cardinal? No, Nuncius. Uh, uh, the Pope? Is, uh, no. A Pope has uh, his, his diplomats. And the oh, diplomat oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Is the Nuncius. Is, I see. Uh, yes. So, so to like the council of his. Yeah. So. And there was connection and they gave him. And the Nuncius sent it to Rome. And from Rome, in six weeks, came a special um, uh, legate. Lega, Mario, name Mario, and we would see these uh, escapees. So the long, the the uh, 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 engineer Krasniansky choose of every group, you know, one of them from the one group he choose the Verba and from the sect Mordovich, and they came in the monastery Sveti Jur near Bratislava, mm -hmm. and the, the Mario, the envoy, the special envoy which was sent from Rome, has a five-hour meeting and uh, hearing with these people. Every detail, he photographed their, their pet or and he promised them alles mögliche. He will send a flugzeug, a, 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 he will send a, an airplane. airplane, he will make a conference and this and this and this. On, on alles Mögliche, the schreckliche Sachen, the, the main thing, what he asked them, if there are Galachs, if there are also priests priest in Auschwitz, yes, this was his most interest, this, he, he had all, but this was uh, what, what he said, uh, and there was also a translator, mm -hmm. uh, Hollander, name Hollander, French, they spoke French, so there was, two people who witnessed this, this whole, and I make this um, uh, research with all these people together. There are some differences, very, for this, but in the whole it is true. But then nothing happened, and later the Jewish community gave them about 1,000 uh, crowns a month to these people, and they gave him also false paper, and they didn't care about him. And one of them, the, the and uh, Cheshek, and he is living in Israel, the Mordovich, was by an razzia, was kept and br brought back to Auschwitz. Can you imagine this? He was brought, he was arrested in Slovakia in, 40, in, in September 44. And he was arrested with a group, and this group was going back to Slovakia, and to Auschwitz, deported with the Slovaks, yes. after the Slovak uprising, yes? Uh -huh. yeah, so when he was in this truck, he cried, "We are going to Auschwitz. Go out! This you don't know what it is. Look, my tattooed number. They do, do. You are a fool, and they would kill him. They would kill him. They wouldn't believe these Slovak Jews, which were deported to Auschwitz. You see? So he came to Auschwitz. But when the tattoo, you know, the people were tattooed, and this tattooer no, no, Mordovich. No, uh, so he making from this mama a flower, like greedy, you know, uh -huh. like like the a sailor has something like this. Tattoo, yeah. tattoo, tattoo, and they send him as an Aryan, and they send him on another transport. Yes, not as, as a Jew. They didn't, they didn't, um, and so he survived and he lived is in Israel now. But this, what I am telling you, I have four. I, you make copies from this. I think uh -huh. so. There are four, pi four uh, letters which I, uh, when I was making the research in the archives, um, national archives, that this is certified that he meet, that uh, he met these big people, uh, meet he, these people, he had a discussion, this uh, and so and so, and this one baby, it is all true, but he cannot get any help. So it is written to the Pele. This, uh, to the, you know, who is Pele, Pele was the director of the War Refugee Board, yes? This is the whole correspondence. Uh -huh. And 
It's all what I am, what I am in these five documents, may, maybe you make the copies, I think so. The, the, it ended with this uh, letter, uh, with uh, what, uh, refuse the... Yes, I made, I made copies. Some of them are hard to read, but yeah. I made them, yeah. But some of them are, the, the, this is written, it's certified, this is what I'm telling you. Yeah. So it had, it, uh, this had an impact. Then Roosevelt later, Roosevelt, uh, uh, Roosevelt ordered to bomb Budapest uh, on the July 9th, and they bombed Budapest, and after bombing Budapest, Horthy uh, cancelled the deportation of Jews uh, to, to, uh, to Auschwitz. But only deportation of the Jews, Budapest Jews, not these Jews who were in the vicinity, you know, in the province, which were the Podkarpatska Rus and the Slovakia and this, and this uh, Budapest Jews, they were saved, uh, much of them. Um, Eichmann didn't allowance to deport, but he made a dead march to, to Austria, and many of them died on this march also. So in the Wallenberg history and so on, there are still, maybe you have heard about it, the Swiss consulate opened there and the Swedish consulate opened. But from the Catholic uh, uh, emissary you got nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing was nothing, heard, nothing, nothing was said, nothing, nothing, nothing said, nothing done, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing done. I see. Nothing. So that is the escape. Now what about the destruction of the crematory? Ah. No, destruction of the crematory. So Which comes first, destruction of the crematory or the uprising in the camps? It's the same. It's one and the same? All right, go ahead. No. Look, there was still very, very thought uprising in the, in the camp, yes? There were many how to make an uprising, yes? How to make so the organizations and the partisans and so on. And the leader of the uprising, there were many, uh, ma mainly the political force, you know, the poor. And they promised us, uh, you must wait when the front will be near, uh, and there are some partisans, and then we get connection with these partisans, so we will make an uprising and so on. And the main thing what with the uprising was under command of, uh, should, um, should play them a most, the most important role, you know. Zonder uh, commando were the Jews who were sentenced to, to help destroy this, uh, yeah, to, to burn them, to, you know, this. Gas, to ga gas and cremate. To, to pull out from the gas yes, chambers right. and, the, and to cremate the people. Yes. This, this was... And the that, Germans ran them into the gas yes, chambers, yes. the Jews pulled them out and yes. cremated them. And they knew that they will be destroyed later or, or early. And yes. there were, in the hall, there were four batches Four times the 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 uh, commando was destroyed. Uh, nearly, uh, uh, always some remained. Some from them remained. Two, three, four. Some remained. And one, it, it was at the time when the Ger the Hungarian Jews were deported. So the commando increased to thousand people. To one thousand people. Can you imagine? The Sunday command. One thousand people. They were kept separate all the time? They were kept separate or not not all the time. One time they were in the camp, but they, they were in isolated blocks and later they were kept in the cremat in the crematorium, in the attics. They make special attics on the crematorium. Maybe you saw the plants and I will show it to you. Yes. And the in the attics they were there. They ate and they slept there slept and they worked. There, yes, yeah, they were called. The, 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 uh, the food was brought from the, from the camp and so on. How were they selected for Sunday Commando? That was not nothing. They came a new group or something. Schwarzhuber made Sunday Commando, Antreten and the... the you in, mean they could have made you one too? Yes, yeah, I was selected with Kraus twice. We were selected. And uh, we were very good bodied. bodied. And the Lagerführer told um, Lager at the start, "Das in Schlosser ist die Brauch. This is the, there are uh, and um, that we are we are plumbers um, and we are yeah, keeping the maintenance special so And he told uh, the whole camp is under commando. It's like, it is the same. But this um, this uh, Steinmetz who was in charge of us, this uh, Schwarzhuber." 
e tu cos alto e tu em todo e tu não conhece e tu cos é verdade é só alto mas desde que é des 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 só vixe o número de vixe o stique há um único yes pisi de raro e só so everybody the people nothing only if he like he looked and then it was also according to the which people came when the Hungarian came so it was picked out accomplished with the Hungarians the Zomer command oh really yes why why did they should speak to the people they have to say to the people you should the the the, the assessment didn't understand to the people nothing. So they ask them, yes. So the assessment, what they ask, let him know this, yes. Or let him. They should ask him. They should uh, put the clothes, and they will be disinfected, and so and so. So when they were, they always said there, and they trusted. Then they have, um, if they saw that the, there are the countrymen's, and they are telling them uh, what the, what the assessment so that. The, the, it was psychologically prepared, this thing. And as I told you, when somebody tried to warn, so it came to a very great uh, demonstration of a, of a cruelty, uh, tortures, of a very cruel, I told you this, yeah. maybe, maybe this. Thing. No. And then, when this, when this, so that the, on the high, there were 20,000 people, the highest, were, were, uh, they were poisoned and burned in 24 mm, hours. Yes. Gas and burned in 24 hours. Yes. In the spits, you know, the, the capacity of killing was much greater than the capacity of burning. Right. Therefore, they made them, uh, when the transport, these this burning pits. Open pits. Did Open. you see any of them? Yes. You yes. did? Yes, see, I saw, I saw them, but not when they are, I saw the lichen, the brand lichen. You saw the bodies. The bodies, and also the, 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 the glue when they came, yes, but no assessment were there. So I saw them, but not when the head was operated. Uh -huh. So I, I would not. I, I was told that they took people and just threw them in their alive. Oh, yes, very much that. Unbelievable what they told. They make it such Who a... Who threw them in? Sunday commander no, or...? No, no. Assessment always. Look, I will let you know that... The, 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 I will send you the book which, which the Philip Miller wrote. That is the only man who survived. It will appear now. For instance, he take five, uh, five uh, very nice uh, Jewish girls. Yes. And he was a master in 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 uh, uh, shooting marksmanship. Yes, and he shoot them in in the in in, in the vagina. In the vagina. Yes, you see, she let them uh, be on the on the brink of of this. Yeah. And shoot them. The, the, and she she took a he uh, he took a, a child from a mother, and he told, oh, what a nice child, and give him a little chocolate. Yes. And then he go and throw this child in in this in the in the in the pit in the dark pits. You cannot you cannot imagine. What happened to this man? He was uh, he was uh, in Dachau. He was sentenced to death. He was executed. Executed. More. More. Sharper than more. The details you will no. What happened? The, the uprising. Still, the uprising. There were. A, a, it was a tour which we played. A prizing, a prizing. But the Poles to always told, look, we must. And the Zondo commander was very one patient. That they saw what uh, it is a, a sin of uprising when we will all be dead. For the Poles to. You must say that there is no possibility when the Red Army will be, when the Krajowa Army and the Partisans will be near, so that but one day the, the new, the, the, they were drastically uh, shortening the Zonderkommando as the, the transport ceased to go, yes? So they, they don't want to, to, to have so much Zonderkommando, they always make it for instance how they liquidated 
they told, we want 300 Zonda Commander, you should go to Lublin. So they picked them out to Lublin, and in Lublin they killed them. From Lublin came, came another Zonda Commando, and they told, yes, from Auschwitz came people and they were shot. One time they, they told him, you will go on the transport, take all, and they brought him to Auschwitz Eins. And in Auschwitz Eins, the, uh, they make a separate um, uh, they took off all these uh, Zonda Commando people and the SS men uh, liquidated them alone. Assessment mm -hmm. in the gas chamber, yes? Without assistance of of this of this This uh, was about when? This was in forty in forty three in autumn. In autumn, and but the Hungarians were coming in in '44. Yes, that is that. that now I now when the Hungarians came and they were, when the Hungarians were already finished, so it was in October '44. The, the last Hungarian transport came in July '44, and then came many transports from Theresienstadt. And he did see uh, the, the Schluss with the feeder transport, with the main transport was at the end of September. So 44? 44. And then they always were that Zonder Commando 300 of Zonkom should go for the transport. And they knew it, what it means. It means yeah. that they were going to yeah. drive. So one day Kor came on the uh, Zonder Commando on the crematorium number fear and assessment and, uh, and who was in charge and, uh, and told to the couples pick out 300 men and they will be uh, they will be transported to another camp so they knew what it is so the cop refused to do it and was the first thing and then uh, the second day uh, the other came once more and they knew what it is and this were Jews from Hungary, not all Jews, not the old one, you see. Mm -hmm. But they knew what it is, and the Poles, and the Poles promised them that they, they, they let them know, now is the last moment that we should make an uprising. And the Poles promised, yes, we will, it will be the signal for the uprising to the whole thing. And then two days before it came an order, we must um, postpone. Yes.